Hi, I'm Blake, and my wife Deb and I are partnering up with our in-laws, Kim and Eric, to buy this 1976 Gurdon mobile home, and the plan is to fix it up for my mother-in-law to live in. This is, um, come to me from my brother-in-law. So this is the joint as seen in oh, realtor.com. It's a manufactured home, double wide. Some work to be done to sweeten. It's got a funky kind of 70s uh, interior. My sister-in-law sent over her mood boards and I kind of like her, her ideas. I would navigating away from just the monochromatic gray but and it's kind of cute on some of these little places so maybe we're just going to be bringing trendy here's some of the things i've been thinking bright yellow but maybe all white or all gray maybe even all dark gray blue i don't know <laughs> I'm a little nervous we're going to overdo it. These are some of the vision words I've been having. Cute cottage in a farm-like setting. Converted chicken coop. I just like the idea of making it look like maybe it was a former industrial building. These are some of the things. This was the first thought I had, which is like, uh, make it kind of industrial grungy. Maybe even add like a water tower back here. We'll see what really happens for my sister-in-law's ideas for uh, the interior, and they're great. G and I, I think, agree. Go with a light, lighter floor. You know, listen to her and run with a bunch of her ideas. I've been watching these videos my sister-in-law sent, and you get to looking at things, and I see my eye tells me that is where an animal is entering the crawl space. <clears throat> but it's got this little shed and then this cute little garden that has I'm guessing some sort of a fruit tree. Um, but it's all fenced in. And then I mean the whole thing is the lot. The bedroom is wow. If I just came into the home and just went to this bedroom, this is not bad. Lord, they're sturdy. <laughs> Checking out uh, some videos, getting prepared for this adventure. <laughs> this is uh, John Fedro, and he had some good advice. It's impossible to tell the story of fixing this up, up this mobile home without giving you all a view of my current kitchen, which is a 1960s kitchen, which we have not touched. Has functioned quite well for 50 years. That's the reality. It just stayed the same. And it worked. And it's fine. It didn't need to be replaced. It still doesn't need to be replaced. You can re put, put on new cabinet doors and that kitchen could go for another 50 years. No problem. It's amazing how much existing infrastructure affects our choices in life. Here's space for a washer and dryer. We haven't had a washer dryer in 15 years, but will we put a washer dryer here? Absolutely. I really like watching sailboat videos on YouTube. So I'm kind of thinking of this is mobile home project as a boat project. They are somewhat similar. Mobile home, the structure is kind of all one piece, the same as a boat and the individual components are installed. Some of the bulkheads, some of the walls, are integral and some are not. Yeah, that color yellow you chose was... Well, that was just, you know, an example of a yellow. Oh, I thought you were... Thinking... Oh, hell no. No, no, no. It was just the idea of, like, either we could do monochromatic gray or we yeah. could do, like, a bright, colorful color. I mean, it could, be, it could be a blue, it could be a yellow, it could be a green. Or seen it we've already run into issues of people feeling like it's lower class 
uh, you know, avoiding saying that it's a mobile home to our potential client. There's this stigma about them, and yet it's a you know a place with four walls and a roof that uh, keeps you warm and keeps you cool, uh, and has toilets and sinks and all that other stuff. So it's kind of an odd situation, and I think it's going to be an interesting exploration of modern America and our ideas of what is valuable and what is housing. This is some more color thinking based on sister-in-law's ideas. I like the blue with the red door. So my mother-in-law is starting to uh, get wind of the project. And one of the questions she asked was if this is going to be somehow green construction. Sad, sad fact that it's not going to be green. Uh, I would love it to be green, but the reality of green is the greenest thing we could do is not do a damn thing and fix the bare, bare minimums. That would be the greenest thing to do. Nothing. So uh, what we're actually going to do is cover it in a thin layer of plastic. There's going to be new plastic flooring and plastic paint throughout. Um, and that's how it's going to be. They say that 10% of Americans moved last year during the pandemic. The heightened risk of climate disaster threatening others, moving may become relatively commonplace in the coming years. Manufactured homes are going to be part of this situation. I'm starting to pack. Uh-oh. <laughs> Since these makeover videos are all about before and afters, here's a little before for you. Well, I got the hardware. This is a bunch of kind of random living stuff. I got a box of tools in here. Use it. This one's gonna come into the hotel overnight for certain. Now we gotta get all the rando stuff in. Oh, it's coming along. We got all the tooly type stuff in there. Now all we need to do is get our personal stuff in. Well, that's everything. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And we're off. Dogs. You want to say hi, babe? Forest fire. Well, we couldn't find a room in Central Oregon, so we're driving straight through the state. We're gonna do a long day of driving. Smoky sunset. It doesn't show up in the phone, but it's Hence that red sun. We made it to a motel into a into Washington State already. Well, it looks like maybe everything's still here. And just like that, we're up and ready to go again. This with the solstice. see the house we're gonna take a pit stop at our in-laws so we're getting ready to go to see the house oh, oh that's a kind of cool looking building mm -hmm. cool looking facade at least sure what... and, and how wide it's like a boulevard we're approaching mm -hmm. slowly. There we are. Here all comes. right here it comes, here comes. That is it. that's it right there Oh yeah! It looks totally different than I expected. It looks awesome. Does it? Yeah, it looks this like a total little so like little farm the... shack. I love it. It looks so giant. Like what? It looks a lot smaller than it did. I don't. I. Well, let's go. What? I have to say it. Uh, I'm what? pleasantly surprised. No, I am too.
Well, shouldn't be too, too bad. Sweet little rose bush. This little thing needs to fit this rose. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be going inside and getting some work started. As we say on YouTube, like and subscribe.